Hello and welcome to this video on social engineering attacks in cybersecurity. In this video, we will be discussing what social engineering is, how it is used in cyber attacks, and how you can protect yourself from falling prey to these attacks. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people into giving away sensitive information or performing actions that they otherwise would not. This is done through psychological manipulation and trickery. It is used by cyber criminals to gain access to systems, networks, and sensitive data. Now, let's talk Abu the types of social engineering attacks. One of the most common forms of social engineering attacks is phishing. This is when an attacker sends an email that appears to be from a reputable source, like a bank or a company. The email will typically ask the recipient to click on a link or download an attachment. Once clicked, the link or attachment installs malware on the victim's device, which can then be used to steal sensitive information or take control of the device. Pretexting is another form of social engineering attack where an attacker creates a fictional scenario to gain the trust of the victim. They may pose as someone in authority, like a manager or a government official, and ask for sensitive information or access to a network. Once they have gained the victim's trust, they can use this information to carry out their attack. Baiting is a type of social engineering attack that uses the promise of something enticing to lure the victim into clicking on a link or downloading an attachment. This can take the form of a free download or a gift card. Once the victim has taken the bait, malware is installed on the device. Quid pro quo attacks are another form of social engineering attack. This is when an attacker offers something in exchange for sensitive information or access. For example, they may offer to fix a problem on the victim's device in exchange for access to their network. Second last, there are recommendation attacks. In this type of attack, the attacker will recommend a service or product that they claim will solve a problem for the victim. Once the victim has installed the recommended software, the attacker can use it to steal sensitive information. Lastly, tailgating or piggybacking is a physical social engineering attack where a person tries to enter a restricted area where they're not allowed to enter. One of the major social engineering attacks in recent times is the SolarWinds supply chain attack that was discovered in December 2020. This attack affected a large number of organizations, including several US government agencies. In this attack, the attackers gained access to the SolarWinds Orion software, which is widely used for network monitoring and management. They then inserted malware into the software updates, which were distributed to SolarWinds customers. So, how can you protect yourself from social engineering attacks? Firstly, always be vigilant when it comes to emails, text messages, and phone calls. If you are not expecting communication from a company or a person, be cautious about clicking on links or downloading attachments. Secondly, use strong passwords and two-factor authentication wherever possible. This makes it harder for attackers to gain access to your devices and networks. Finally, always keep your antivirus software up to date. This will help to protect your devices from malware and other threats. So, there you have it, a brief introduction to social engineering attacks in cybersecurity. By staying vigilant, using strong passwords and two-factor authentication, and keeping your antivirus software up to date, you can help to protect yourself from these types of attacks. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you liked the content.